Once upon a time, there was a man named Aristotle. Now, you already know Aristotle because we've discussed Aristotle's rules for tragedy. Do you remember the terms hubris, hamartia? Of course, the rules for tragedy weren't the only things that Aristotle dreamed up. He also spent a lot of time thinking about rhetoric, which is the art of effective communication. Now, there are five canons of rhetoric, and they are invention, arrangement, style, delivery, and memory. The first canon, invention, deals with finding your topic and, by extension, your voice. What exactly do you plan to argue? If you haven't thoroughly considered your topic, your argument will suffer. One important thing to remember about invention, it's not about how you organize your thoughts. It's simply about deciding what you plan to say. Leave the organization for later. So let's take a look at the common topics of invention. They include definition, division, comparison, relationship, circumstances, testimony, and notation. We'll look at all of these today, but we're going to focus first, of course, on the topics themselves. Let's look at a simple one. How about this one? Pizza is good. Now, I have to tell you, it's not a good argument, but can it be fixed? Well, let's start with definition. Perhaps you feel that Pizza Hut makes the best pizza. It's not an argument that can be easily supported because it's founded basically upon your opinion. But let's start with a question. What is a good pizza? Can you define a good pizza? Perhaps a good pizza has natural ingredients, um, has a good coverage of topping, flavorful crust, a good value for the price paid. Perhaps there's a certain ratio of sauce to toppings. What you would need to do is come up with your definition of what a good pizza is. You now have a somewhat stronger basis for your argument. For example, a good pizza is all of these things, and then you would give your list. Pizza Hut pizza is all of these things. Therefore, Pizza Hut pizza is good pizza. The problem is you've still not addressed your original idea that Pizza Hut pizza is the best pizza. The next common topic is comparison. Before you go for the obvious comparison contrast, which is what I think most of us would tend to do, why don't you try and consider if there's not another argument in the making? For example, Pizza Hut versus Domino's is a pretty obvious comparison. But what if I were to compare Pizza Hut pizza to chocolate? Which is the best food? How are each of those foods similar? What could I get from this? It's going to be a much different argument than the person sitting next to you who's going to be arguing Pizza Hut versus Domino's. For the record, there is no better food than chocolate, but I digress. The next common topic is relationship. Now this can mean many things, antecedent and consequence, contraries, contradictions, but most of you are going to be the most familiar with cause and effect relationships. My primary concern is that you're going to come up with a fallacy if you use cause and effect. Do you remember the example that I gave you when we were talking about logical fallacies? I drank water this morning. I got sick this morning. Therefore, water made me sick. Now, obviously, that's not true. So be sure that you have definitive proof of a cause and effect relationship. Have plenty of evidence to back up your opinions. Another common topic of invention is circumstance. That deals with possible or perhaps something is impossible. Things that have occurred in the past or will occur in the future. For example, because I know that no one has lived forever, it's reasonable for me to argue that we're all going to die someday. Possible and impossible, I might introduce a concept and then argue whether or not it is probable. This is going to rely heavily on logic to prove or disprove the possibility of your concept. Another common topic is testimony, or using the words of someone that's an established expert in their field. 
for example, Einstein. Now there are other examples that I could provide for you, but that's enough for the moment. If you want to know more about each of these things in specific detail, you need to visit the Forest of Rhetoric. The link is below. That's the site that I use to develop this overview.